Hi guys, it's Sam coming to you from my studio in the garden in England. I uh, hope you are doing well today. Uh, today I wanted to show a journal that I made recently which features all the papers that I have in my Etsy shop. So the main basis of this journal is using this set of papers called French Blues. So there are four different script and uh, all different French papers and each one comes with a set of tags as well which have been scaled down. So that's the French blue set and then there's also a set of creams so lots of lovely different shapes of uh, shades of creams uh, again with the scripts, um, French uh, documents, music sheets and then your coordinating tags again which have been shrunk down. Uh, also on my shop recently, I've just launched three more sets. So this is the Elegant Ladies set. So these are all cabinet cards from my own collection. So I can show you the my originals here that I've scanned in. Uh, this is quite an unusual set actually because I've got these cards which I found recently, which are such a unique shape that I thought I needed to include those. And just to show you the difference, this has actually been printed on a matte photo paper, whereas this is what I normally use to print on for all my normal print printables. So you can see the difference. When it comes to photographs, I think it really does need to be on a matte photograph paper, because you really don't get that definition of the original photographs. So that's the first page. The second page is some uh, vintage price tags. Again, these are all from original price tags that I've got in my collection. And then the last sheet is actually um, some journal cards that I've created to coordinate with my papers. Uh, so these are all just digital designs that I've put together for you and that all the color palettes coordinate. And then there's two lovely tags there. The second set that I've recently launched is a set of uh, vintage French invoices. So you get two sheets of those, so you can cut them out as a full sheet and put them in your junk journals. And then I've also included a sheet that has a collage of all the, all the images put together, which makes actually a really nice front cover for a journal. If you like, fold it in half. And then the last set that I've recently launched are some vintage cabinet cards. Again, these are from my uh, personal collection. And I have that many, and you can see the, the reverse designs are beautiful. So these are mostly English. So there's quite a lot of different ones. We've got Windsor, Windsor Castle here. That's a really pretty one. Lincoln, this is a really unusual pink one. Um, Nottingham as well, that's cool. Bristol, London, so quite a variation of different cabinet cards there. So plenty of designs to keep you going. And what I like to do is back them with some coffee dyed paper or well, you can make them into tags, you can make them into journal cards. They just are the perfect size for that kind of thing for your journals. Okay, on to the journal. So this is two signatures. It's got a load of vintage linen on the front cover. So again, this photograph is from the Elegant Ladies collection. I made a little tuck here for one of the um, tags from the um, French paper script pack. Tied it up with a little bit of sari silk. Okay, so this is one of the journal cards. Like I said, they all coordinate with the same colours. And um, that's just a vintage book paper. We've got a die cut here. Again, this is one of the price tags. And then we've got one of those really unusual sized cabinet cards there, which I've just backed onto coffee dyed paper. So most of my papers I've actually printed 
double sided so I've got something going on on the reverse as well. So this is one of the tags again from the journaling um, Elegant Ladies collection. I've got a lovely textured mask here. Uh, this one's actually from a company called Creative Expressions that I actually designed rubber stamps for. Um, it's this one here. I love the I love their mini masks because they're just so useful if you just want a little bit of something in a corner. So they've got various different designs. These are all the ones I've got at the moment. So I've just done some texture paste there. On to the next page. Again, this is one of the French receipts. So I actually printed this just on paper, just to give it more of an authentic feel with just being paper rather than card. And this is the middle of the first signature. So this is actually a paper bag that I put in diagonally. This part I've just chopped off the top just to make it a little pocket. So I've made one of those little cabinet cards into a tag. Again, one of the price tags. So that just pops into the top there. And then we fold over. <coughs> Excuse me. And I've got a collage here, another one of the girls, another one of the tags. And inside the pocket, I've just created this little fold out again with some of the scraps of the papers that I've printed off double sided again so on the music sheet is out of the cream collection here I've used a cabinet card as a little tuck spot here's another French receipt and here's just an off cut of some of the paper that I printed out on vellum I love to print out on vellum because it make you can make pockets and all sorts of things with it. So I just tuck that in there just as a little bit of interest. This is just coffee dyed paper that I've crinkled up. Again with the French blue paper pad. Absolutely love this colour. You'll see this a lot in my work. <laughs> Which again I've double sided printed. This is actually from another um, digital kit that I have. Sorry, digital sheet, it's not a kit, this is just a one sheet. So these are actually French vocabulary cards that I've created myself. So there's all sorts of different words on here. And you may recognise it from my other journal that I've posted. So I've used that quite a few times on the cards and used it on tags. So that I've done words which I think are going to be quite useful for traveling and you know garden butterflies um journals letters flowers so that's just a, a digital download in my shop as well so i've used one of them here i just used it as a little tab again more of the script this is a pocket that i've just created and this is one of the elegant ladies that I've just backed onto coffee dyed paper just to give it more strength to make it look like a cabinet card. I think she's really, really pretty. And then on the corner of this pocket, I've used a die. Again, from Creative Expressions. This is a die designed by Sue Wilson, which is really pretty. I love doilies when it comes to uh, making my vintage journals. So I've just cut that out and put that on the corner. And then on this side, I've left it as a tuck spot. So I've just partly glued it at the bottom there and left it as a tuck spot. Again, there's another one of the receipts. I've just printed that on paper again. And then this is another one of the original cabinet cards that I've scanned in. Here's the original photograph. I've actually taken some of the yellow out of it, made it more of a neutral colour. And again, this is actually another die cut from Creative Expressions by Sue Wilson. So this one is Frames and Tags Scarlet. So I've just die cut that out. It's so beautiful, the pattern. And I've just used it as a frame for my beautiful lady there. At the side, I've made a little tuck spot. So in there, it's just a little envelope that's die cut and you can do your journaling in there and just pop it back in. 
and I use it to fold over. So on this side, there is some more of the tags from the uh, script papers. So with those, I've just basically cut them all out and I've punched out um, some reinforcers just to give them more of an authentic look to them, which you don't have to do. You can just obviously cut them out and leave them as they are. But just to show the comparison. So you can see there, it just gives it that little bit more dimension. I've just distressed around the edge there with Tim Holtz Distress Inks. So I've used that as a top spot in this corner. Again, it's another one of my vintage cabinet cards that I've backed with coffee dyed card. So that's a lovely little journaling card there. Here again is one of my French vocabulary cards. So this one. And I've just used it, I've just laid it up. And then this is actually a embossing folder. Um, again from Creative Expressions. And I've just used it down one piece and I've created it as a, a pocket at the top. So I've got another uh, Camlet card there which I've backed. Another journaling card as well from the set. And then some more um french receipts which i've just folded to fit in i absolutely love this color as well really really pretty all of this really does go together and i've tried to keep that same sort of color palette put that back in there on this side this is what i was talking about with the the vellum printed onto the vellum sheet and i've just torn half of it and used it as a pocket so in here we have the price tags again, another journaling card, another cabinet card. I love this tag, I love the florals on it. And then another French receipt that you can use to write on the reverse. So they all pop in there. Again, more of the digital papers. I've used another one of the cabinet card girls there. Put some tags in there, again back them onto coffee dyed paper just to give it that thickness to it. Put them in there. And here's another French receipt. Again it's a lovely colour blue as well. And you'll find that if you print these on paper rather than card, they actually print out a lot lighter than the originals. If I show you. says and she can't find it there we go so you can see there's the original that I've printed onto card this has been printed onto paper so you can see how much lighter the difference is depending on what cardstock you use and um, I also printed them onto coffee dyed paper that I've ironed flat as possible and put them through the printer. So you can see that's another shade, another version that you could create on just some tea dyed, coffee dyed paper. So this has really taken sort of the, the blue out of it, but it gives it a whole other use for it. So you can use it in so many different um, projects and it's not going to look like the same piece over and over. So we'll just pop that back into there. And then we've got another little tuck spot here. Again, some more journaling cards, another one of them pretty cabinet cards. The illustrations are just beautiful. I just, like I said, there's so many different designs to choose from. It should keep you quiet for a long time. <laughs> and then that's just a little flip out. And yeah. That's my little journal. That's just all been created from all my digital designs. I really hope you enjoy using them as much as I have. And goodbye for now.